Why do some mug handles feel effortless to hold where others feel like they're putting a lot of stress on your fingers? A large part of this is the difference in the lateral force as a result of the leverage of the handle. There's an easy way to demonstrate this difference. By turning a scale on its side, you can use it to measure lateral force. Here, I've mounted the scale vertically, and I'm using it to measure the force that would have to be applied inwards to keep a mug level. When holding a mug by the handle, the top finger inside the handle pulls up and outwards and a point on the outside has to push inwards to counterbalance the rotation around the top finger, otherwise the mug would hang vertically below that top finger. The amount of lateral force needed to stabilise a mug depends on the leverage of the two points of contact. This setup is using a sharpie stuck to the scales to simulate the outside finger. The amount of pressure applied to the sharpie would be the same as you would experience on your finger if you held it at that point. In this case, I'm using one of my largest mugs, which has a mass of around 375 grams. The force upwards to counteract the weight of the mug will only ever have to equal that 375 grams. But if the vertical difference between the two fingers pushing inwards and outwards is significantly shorter than the horizontal distance to the centre of gravity, then that force will be a multiple of the mass. You can see that when the inside finger is very close to the sharpie on the outside, the amount of force the scales register is around four times the weight of the mug. If you had a very large mug full of liquid with a tiny handle, the pressure on your fingers could be several kilograms. It's important to match the scale of the handle with the size of the mug.